Hey folks, it's Greg and Janet with Strange RV Tours. Today we're coming to you from Pahrump, Nevada, where we are at a thrift store. We actually know the owner of this thrift store, and we'll tell you a little bit more about that as we go along. Join us! Okay, we are at Building 160 Supply Company, 2580 Paddock Avenue. They're open Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Their phone number is 702-353-9502. About 10 years ago, Janet and I got hooked on the show Storage Wars, as did a lot of people, obviously. And we thought that sounded like fun, so we went out and started buying some storage units. We weren't trying to make money at it. Uh, we were doing it more for fun than anything, just going through the boxes and see if there was anything good that we could find. And the owner of this thrift store was one of the people that we would bid against at the storage units. And she has a huge collection of stuff here now. Everything you see inside of this property or on this property either came from storage units or estate sales. So there's a lot of different unusual items. Right. And Rose is the name of the owner. And uh, said pretty much storage auctions have cut it out at this point. Just a few are operating. They're doing mostly online. It's a good way to get real bargains on furniture and household items. Yeah, I think we'll check. Yeah. Ninety-five dollars for a. I'm all. I'm all. Yeah. Put a TV in it. Leather sofa over there, hundred dollars. Size bed with the dresser. Yeah. All right, this place just goes on and on, so that's just the first building. Kitty bed. <laughs> Back in time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Neat. That's a big table for two ninety five with the chairs. Yeah. This is vintage. Yeah. Vessel water. Sun fiberglass. That's neat. Is this your place? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I got to say. Oh my goodness. I work at the rehab place up here. I've been here about two years. Cool. Good shape, too. Yeah, it is. Good. I'm like, 
<laughs> the river chick. <laughs> Toilet bowls. Yeah, need a new toilet. They've got them. A little dusty from being out, but. Yeah. And strollers, baby chairs, fiberglass ladders. Bicycles. Vending machines. A little bit of everything, huh? Yeah, different cleaners. Golf balls. Five for a dollar. <laughs> Boxes. Hey, look at that globe. Some jerseys. Yeah. Some blackjack. Felt. Yeah, this one would be 25. So we'll turn Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Artwork. This is a ladies' Kobe Bryant jersey. <laughs> Leather jackets. Frames and pictures. Magazines. Sports collectibles. Starting lineups. <laughs> DVDs a dollar. Yeah, yeah, you, you got eight tracks. You got a bunch of them down here. Wow. Bunch of eight tracks. All right, we got fashion clothes. <laughs> Somebody liked uh, turquoise. Yeah, this is like a whole part of a store collection. Yeah. Oh my God. Look comfortable. What do I do? Bunch of games, video games. Yeah, a little table saw. Yeah. They could sparkle something. <laughs> those are fun to clean. No tools? Yeah. Lots of tools. Nail gun. Nail gun down there. Uh, all kinds of Wi Fi equipment. Modems. Isn't that like a converted camper going? 
to oh going to Europe, huh? Yeah. Or somewhere, yeah, yeah. possibly. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've never never been. <laughs> An artist stand here. Little artist studio. Uh, fur coat. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Jewelry and watches. A dollar each. There's a mink. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. And we keep going. Yeah, just uh, goes from building to building to building. Got another video game here, arcade game, sports station. NBA on NBC. Let's see what they have in here. Oh, they got a they got a card table layout here with chips. Huh. Look at that huge bed. Yeah. Stereo equipment, albums. We got a 50 inch TV here for $120. There's a 50 inch for 95. Large display items here. Wow, those are big. Huge. There you go. There's an old Sears sewing machine, baby. Yeah. That's the kind we used in school. Lots of mattresses here. Lots of mattresses. She did tell us that she sells a lot of mattresses. That is a massive table. Yeah. Eight chairs. Yeah. Big table with eight chairs, thousand dollars. Oh, eight fifty, huh? Well, it's the tables. Oh, thousand. thousand chairs are eight fifty. Okay. On the bed. Here's the mattress prices. Three seventy five for a king set. That's a set. Just the top is two seventy five. That's not bad at all. No, no, it's not. Got a bedroom set here, six piece set, seven hundred and fifty dollars. Looks like it's in good shape. That is a wine cellar. Yeah, that is a wine cellar. Isn't that cool? Let's see. It's super thick too. Looks like a double pane. Yeah, yeah. Climate controlled, looks like. Yeah, definitely it's up there. Uh-huh. If you have a wine collection, man. Those are nice. Yeah. Need to be refinished, but six hundred and fifty to eight hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, these are two smaller ones. Oh I see. And that's a yeah. one. That's nice. I bet they came out of a restaurant or something. Yeah. Run away away. Huh. <laughs> There's some grandfather clocks here. Doors, some panels. Anybody opening a bar needs some shot glasses? Yeah. Or highball glasses? Yeah? Yes, it's a highball. Look at the size of this saw. Wow. Let's see what they got over here. More serving platters and knives. Glassware. 
bread machine, toasters, pasta machine, automatic bread and donut maker, juicer. Yeah. Lots of luggage. It's a big place. You just have to kind of meander through all of it. The baby crib, $150. Beds. Sleigh bed. Books. Books are my nightmare. We, um, when we were buying storage units, like I said, we were doing it mostly for fun, but we came across one storage unit. It was a little six by six unit, but it was stacked floor to ceiling with boxes of hardback books. And I knew that, that books were easy to sell on Amazon. So I thought, well, this may be a unit that we actually try to sell some stuff and make some money off of. So we purchased the unit. We won it for $400. And uh, <laughs> when we started to load all the books up, because the, the boxes, you couldn't see the titles of the book, but you could see it said books it said on books, the side of the box. And you could box. see hardbacks, but you couldn't really see the titles. When we started opening up all these boxes of books, and I mean, there was thousands, there was thousands of books in there. When we opened up uh, these boxes, we quickly realized that every single book was in Korean. And there's no way for us to put them on Amazon because we couldn't read the titles. <laughs> we couldn't read the author, the publisher, nothing. And uh, we kept those books in our garage for goodness, I bet three or four years. And we donated the books to Korean churches, to to uh, bookstores. uh bookstores to we had them in garage sales and we finally just tossed them we, we finally put them out in a garage sale and said free mm -hmm. and uh we got rid of most of them that way but i'll never forget that it was like just taking 400 dollars out of your pocket and throwing it in the garbage there's a few so. extra things in there but we did lose money on that oh yeah we did yeah <laughs> oh. that's the risk you take I guess when you're buying storage units you have to remember another thing when you're when you are at a store storage unit auction don't bid on anything that you can't see <laughs> you see you know when they open up the doors and you're allowed to look just bid on the things that you can actually see because you never know what's uh, behind that front row of stuff and we've seen people that uh, have bought units that looked really full and like there was a lot of stuff and you get about three or four feet into the storage unit and it's definitely it was definitely a hoarder's unit and it was literally garbage and junk and stuff and yeah. glad bags <laughs> so yeah but this is a really cool location if you're in the Pahrump area and you want to check it out I would highly highly advise that you do there's uh, a lot of interesting stuff here. And if you happen to come out here in Pahrump during the winter and it gets cold, you don't want to buy a, a jacket because you're only going to be here for a week or so. This is a good place to pick up a, a coat or a jacket just to get you by. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you're missing a certain piece of china or something that, you know, they have lots of different china. Lots of different china. If you're missing pieces, this might be a place to find it too. That's true. That's true. Or if you need a bunch of glasses for a wedding, they have cases of wine glasses, cases of, you know, um, platters, stuff like that. If you're doing a wedding on your own or a big event, you can pick up the stuff cheap. The reason that this is called Building 160 is because right out here, You'll see this truck going by in just a second. That is Highway 160 that goes right through the center of Pahrump. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video that we did here at Building 160. <laughs> yeah. If you did, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the little bell up in the corner. Please share these videos and check out our Patreon site. Is there anything that you'd like to add, Miss Janet?
Yeah, well, the stuff outside is kind of dusty and stuff, but uh, I mean, they got some pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You got to yeah. pick through it, but it's cool. Yeah, you have to realize that the furniture inside is going to have scratches and blemishes because it was pre owned, it's been put in storage units and moved around. But the prices are so cheap that if you have the ability to refinish furniture, yeah, this is a bargain. Or just touch up. Some mm -hmm. of it looks, some of it looks new, but the mattresses are new. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyhow, you guys take it easy. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.